People often underestimate the base level Corvette. They see its older brother, the Z06, and fail to realize how capable of a machine this base Stingray already is. With 460 horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque, this car is already capable of outrunning 98% of the cars on the road today. Hey, how's it going guys? This is Ed for me, today with another car review. A uh, huge thanks to Adam from Digital Biker TV up? for hooking us up with uh, this 2016 Corvette Stingray. So uh, let's get going, huh? So I'm in the sport exhaust mode right now, so uh, or sport mode right now, right? Yeah, so it opens up mode. all the uh, exhaust valves. And then what we're gonna do is just take it out for a drive, see how it does. Well, Try not to stall it. That was close. <laughs> that was a close one. So, kind of first impressions uh, setting off. The clutch is really light. I like uh, I like the uh, shifter. It has really solid gear engagement. This C7 Corvette is definitely a good generation. The last Corvette that I actually liked was the C3 generation, which was like around 1975 or so. And uh, ever since then, I've never really liked the Corvettes, but this new generation, the Stingray, definitely uh, is a nice generation for sure. So uh, this is actually the first time getting behind the wheel of a Chevy Corvette, especially this generation. I've been in the C5 and the C6, first time in the C7. One of the really cool things about this car is that it actually has seven speeds instead of six. Um, so from the old cars that used to only have four speeds, now the standard is six, this one has seven. So sitting under the hood is a 6.2 liter V8 engine, putting out 450 horsepower. It's naturally aspirated, so no turbos involved, no turbo lag. Definitely has a lot of good pickup. All right, here we go. Zero to 60 time of what? Under four seconds in this car? Yeah, 3.6. Awesome. One of the things that I never really liked about Chevys and I guess just the kind of American muscle cars in general is, uh, for one thing, the steering wheel. I never really liked how big the center part of the steering wheel was, um, but getting in this particular car, I really don't mind it. So I do believe we have a roundabout here. That car handled the turn pretty well. The ride quality in this car is pretty good too. 19-inch uh, wheels in the back, 18-inch wheels in the front. So the ride is definitely not jarring at all. So uh, Adam here is from Digital Biker TV. I'll leave a link to his channel right here. Check it out. He's got a lot of cool reviews on a lot of hot ticket items. And I'm sure a review of this car is going to be coming up soon too, so uh, you should definitely check it out. So uh, Adam, uh, tell us why you went with the C7 Corvette Stingray instead of some of the other cars that you were looking into. What other cars? Uh, you know, like uh, the Porsche Cayman I believe you were looking into, the oh. BMW M2. You know, the thing is, those cars are nice, but they don't have the enthusiasm, the attitude that this car has. I mean, you know when you push the exhaust, you know that downshift. Uh -huh. um, you feel the energy in the car. You feel that this is an aggressive, young, powerful car. Those cars are too refined. This I car, see. this car, you're getting the engine, the exhaust. You're getting the full experience. That's why I want that. Great choice. Great choice. And you get 150 more horsepower for the same price. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, originally, one of the things that people say about Corvette Stingrays or Corvettes in general is that you are getting all that horsepower as a muscle car, but you're really giving up on the interior and the quality. I really don't think they uh, skimped on any of the interior quality here, huh? Looks yeah. pretty good to me. Really good. Everything is wrapped in um, soft leather. Yeah, I can see There's that. not a lot of plastic in this car. I love the digital tachometer, too. Really uh, adds a new level 
just a new level of sophistication to these cars. Now let's see what kind of power this car has. The sound of the V8 sounds amazing. You know, one of the things that I uh, miss, or not even miss, one of the things that I think the Golf R really lacks in is its exhaust sound. And uh, part of the reason why I want to go stage two with this, with that car, is uh, so that it'll actually sound better. I really like uh, like a WRX STI's exhaust systems. The exhaust system in this car sounds amazing as well. spot to uh, be putting down any power there, huh? It's nice that this car can be driven pretty easily. Like, if you're not uh, going above two, 3,000 RPM, it drives much a lot like a normal car would, which is great. Now, one of the things that uh, YouTube videos don't really portray well across the screen it's just really the, the size of the car. You know, one of the things about the earlier Corvettes is that they were smaller. They weren't much lighter. I believe like the C3 Corvette was around 3,500 pounds. So it wasn't a light car by any means, but uh, definitely when you're driving this car, the car really shrinks around you. And in the cockpit, this area really does feel um, just as small as my V4, even though the car itself is uh, a little bit bigger. All right, we, we got to hear how the horn sounds in this thing, right? We do. <laughs> Not bad. I think it'll get some attention, right? <laughs> One of the cool things about this car is the uh, auto rev match feature, right? I haven't really tried it yet, but I believe you just click this DSG or whatever paddle right here on the right. Do you have to hold it? Just push it once. Push it once. Oh, so, so you... when it lights up yellow, yeah. that's when you know that the uh, auto rev match is engaged. So let's see, let's see how it is. Wait, so the point of it is that you don't actually have to give it any throttle. When it'll just go into the, it'll it'll auto flip the throttle for you, huh? Yeah, so when you're downshifting, you don't have to... So I think just before I uh, instinctively gave it a gas, a little bit of blip of a throttle in order to bring the uh, RPMs up, but yep. let me try doing it without it. All right, it still jerks you a little bit, so, you know, I think, is there is there a certain way to do it uh, so that it's No, it's, smooth? it's supposed to be automatic, so... Okay. Okay. I love seeing the uh, wheel arches up in the front. They really add an element to uh, the car's character. Yeah. Same thing with looking out the side rear view mirrors. You can actually see the hips right in the back. All right, second gear pull. Didn't even get to fully rev it out. Man, even though this isn't the uh, Z06, it's still pretty powerful, you know, like, I can only imagine what the Z06 feels like driving that. So uh, that is the uh, 2016 Chevy Stingray. Uh, huge thanks again to Adam for uh, hooking me up with this ride to review for you guys today. If you guys have any questions about the car, if you guys have any questions in general, feel free to leave it in comments below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.